You don't have to be Henri at OneLonelyFarmers.com. Woohoo! Let me run this back. Look at what I got in the mail today, boys and girls. Yeah, I got me a big John Deere. I keep bending over like this, I'm gonna run out of oxygen. But anyway, look at there. This came to me with uh, love and affection from Daniel Love, uh, Busman54. If I got that wrong, he'll get me. But uh, I won this in his giveaway. Lovely, lovely. Thank you so very much, Mr. Busman. Uh, he's a wonderful guy. You need to watch him. He's good at everything he does. Which surprises me because he's from Iowa. No, I don't mean that. Uh, here we are in the middle of the Arkansas woods. And I've got a, actually, after this tractor deal, I got a mail call. Ain't that pretty? I've got a shelf that I tuck over in this new trailer house. And I think Marianne was wanting to put up dishes and all sorts of trinkets and stuff, but I've got it filled up with all sorts of toys and things. But anyway, without further ado, -do, not do do. Look at what I got. This is a mail call from a very precious person to me, him and his wife, uh, Mr. Cliff. He's a Carolina man, and I bet he sent me his beautiful new sticker. Oh man, if I'm not upside down on this, I'm going to save that. I saved the envelopes because, you know, it's from my family. Look at this thing. Ain't that lovely? Don't that nice? Carolina man He's got this beautiful Mustang which I used to have a beautiful must I used to have several beautiful Mustangs, but uh, Mine wasn't as pretty as hers, but uh, This man is beautiful and he's wonderful and his little wife is is too uh, He does all sorts of stuff. He uh, He was a, uh, a master model builder and now he's changed into uh, maybe firearms and stuff. So uh, give him a shout out and give him a look. And if you need a sticker made, this is from uh, Mr. Tony. Uh, he made mine and probably everybody else's stickers. He's really good at it. So uh, you can get him at uh, gosh almighty. See, I've had a, a brain goober lately. But, uh, I'll put it in the, in the things where, where you can get your stickers made at. So, uh, that's good. Thank you, Mr. Cliff. And thank you, Danny. Daniel, a little fuzz on it. So this is going up. I'll look at this every day. I'll look at this every day because I've got my sticker board in my room now. So, that's going to be a lovely thing. Yay! Look at that. It's a production. Woohoo! And uh, I don't know of any news going on with me specifically. Uh, uh, this army truck that we're sitting under, over, has got to have a couple hoses put on it. And it'll be good for the road. And, uh, of course, I don't have a battery for it. I use the battery out of the Volkswagen to put in it. But anyway, it worked. And, uh, got some more little trinkets to do. As soon as I get around to doing them. So, uh, gee, I wonder if this is going to be a short one. Sit there because the wind's coming up. This 18-ton 
John Deere, JD, what we used to call them. And, uh, wearing my hair today so, uh, I can at least get, get, uh, some relief on my skull. Uh, I had a whole bunch to tell you, but you know what? I was pretty active yesterday, which means today I'm not. I went down way out on Canaan, on the Canaan Mountain, out in uh, the edge of Searcy County, and I jacked up my sister's car with the jack, of course, and changed out her fuel filter on her little uh, little Ford car. It's a uh... now see I've forgotten that boy who I don't know. I don't even know who I am today, but I still got to unload the jack and the jack stain and stuff here directly, but I guess the floor will catch it. So, uh, she's got a Taurus, a Taurus. She's got a Taurus, my brother's got a Taurus, and they're just tourist out. When I buy cars for the state, I bought a couple Taurus wagons, and, uh, I was not very happy with them. And me being a Ford man, well, they tricked me into being a Ford man and hating everything else, but I know now that it's all the same. They they want they trick you into liking a product and to be loyal for it for their own good, not not necessarily your all good. And uh, true when you buy stuff for the state they tear it all to pieces because the state employees don't care. And these poor wagons went through Hades. But they're really good. <clears throat> uh, actually, they're really good on ice. And that's what we have a lot around here. So I put studded snow tires on them, which you're not supposed to, but the state allows you to have stuff. And, uh, and we would ferry people back and forth. People would call in when it would snow about this much. They'd say, I can't make it to work. Well, we'll just come get you. We fixed them. And that's what we used. And uh, the heaters would get all clogged up in them. And I don't know. I think it's a design thing. The heaters would get all clogged up. You have to blow them out and do this and that. And they'd work for a while. But anyway, so much for that. Uh... Hopefully it's going to rain here and cool off. It's in the 90s. And and we're just sweating to beat the band. And Mr. Pig's going to get rid of a whole bunch of his vehicles. Uh, I don't know if I can spare any vehicles around here. I've got like 20 of them that I don't need. I don't run. But, uh... You know, when you sell a vehicle, you got to pretty much just kiss the guy's rear end to, to, to buy anything, especially nowadays when money's tight. I guess money's always been tight, except when I wanted to buy something without no money. But uh, I hate to advertise any of this stuff because you have to deal with people. I love people, don't get me excited about that, but when you get people and money together, uh, the the green monsters come out and uh, and I always feel bad even if I sell something that's perfect which there's never anything perfect but the good Lord and uh, when you sell something really nice you're always afraid that they're gonna call you back and say hey this this broke or this ain't no good or you lied to me about this and that and, and uh, you know they can do that I don't I always expect it, but most most times they don't do it. Oh, I sold a, a 69 Charger one time. And it was a 383 automatic, blue, of course. And uh, it was just a big old long Chrysler car to me and to everybody else. And it had flex plate messed up in it that hooked up the transmission to the rest of the car, to the, tra to the engine. And I'd eased it around there, and I'd put some washers on it, and I got it to where it would pull and go. And I told the little boy or man that it needed a flex plate. I said, you just get your flex plate, ease the transmission back about four inches, cram it on there, and you'll be good to go. 
and uh, he drove it home, and then he drove it to see his girlfriend or something, and he romped on it and spun the rest of the flex, flex plate loose. And he called me back, My car won't move. Where is it? Oh, it's up here in the East Moline somewhere on the, on the one ways. It's really hard to get to. Oh, gosh. Anyway, just one of them things. God bless him. And the flex plate he rode in on. Today is my mama's birthday. Of course, she's in heaven. God bless her. Happy birthday, mama. And uh, so that's a lovely thing today. I get to celebrate that. And uh, think about that and look at her pictures and things. And I'm not sad. I'm just lonely for her. That's the way, you know, that's the way we are. We know they're in a better place. And I'd have her back here in a second, except why bring her to this awful place here when she's in a paradise up there? I wouldn't do that to her, even though I would love to do it for me. I'm not going to be that selfish. And uh, I guess that's about it. That's about it, I wonder. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm going to say I love you. And uh, y'all take care of each other. And since I'm out here, I laid up today because I worked hard yesterday, or did something, did one little thing yesterday. That saps you, that turns you down. But being out here talking to y'all, I think I've got my gumption back. Ain't that lovely? And you, this is something y'all do for me. Uh, I'll get to watching your, your videos, and I see y'all doing stuff, and I'm going, boy, I could be doing that too. And that inspires me to get out of bed and come out here and do this. And you give me so much more life than I would have. And I can't thank you enough. So this is this is visual. This is this is I can just tell you. It's I'm going to come out here and just tear the bone out. Uh, the doctor did call me after all my blood work and stuff, and he said uh, my liver enzymes are terrible. They're elevated and they're dying and everything else. And that kind of got me a little de depressed, but you know what? Uh, it's going to be all right. I'm going to work around it and work over it. And I didn't gain as much weight as I thought. I'm at 214, and I usually stay at 210. So uh, maybe this is just swelled up because of my liver. That's what I'm going to tell everybody. I usually go, baby, baby. And I say that to everybody. I mean, parking attendants preachers and priests and stuff and women seem to get a, a, a grin out of it baby anyway i love y'all i'm gonna hit the button now hit the button and i'm gonna go do something stupid